few days now I haven't been able to drive it.
to get it like clean out because this thing had the same oil on it for five years and it just sat there it, you can't tell me there wasn't a build up or anything in there especially for like the oil pump and everything oh man i don't even want to know so needless to say lifter stuck rocker arms loose whatever so you hear you hear it when you fire up the motor and it gets the temp um another thing that i did get was the, the gauge cluster i was talking about so i can see my voltage oil pressure and the temperature um, those all went in relatively easy i had to buy a, a metal tubing kit for the oil pressure gauge because it melted the plastic one just from sheer heat uh
for a Sunday cruise. Uh, it's really extremely loud, as you can tell like by driving it. Uh, it sounds like a goddamn pickup truck. Which, I mean, it's as fast as a pickup truck, don't get me wrong, but I'm an advocate for loud vehicles, as you guys already know. Uh, they're just kind of fun. <laughs> Pretty nice guy. He's just kind of greasy. So I bought the car. 
driving it and they're like, fuck you, you gotta get this guy to get a new title. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. What are the odds I can get a hold of this greasy old man I bought this car from? So I I, I text, I, I, uh, I tried calling him that the, the day I went and he didn't answer me and I, that was like eight o'clock in the morning. I'm having like a mental breakdown because I'm like, I just fucking put all of this time and effort into this car and if I can't put this fucking thing on the road, I'm gonna lose my mind. So, I text him, I send him pictures, I'm like, listen man, I'm working on this car, I know you still have this phone number, Is there, can you please, can we meet up at your local DMV or something, let's figure this out, get this thing on the road, because I'll pay for it, because I'm an idiot. He texts, he's like, he, he's like, call me, so I call him, and he's like, yeah, I can, I'll meet you up at the DMV, I work, like I told you, I, I'm self-employed, so I can, I can basically do it whenever. And I like shit my pants. I was like, "There's no way this guy'd be able to do this." I had the thing literally on Facebook as like a demo car. I was like, "Somebody can use it for demolition derby at least." I, I didn't want to do that, but like, the title's still in like the other guy's name. I was like, "This could be way farther down a rabbit hole than I can afford, or I can figure out, or I can legally do." So once he said that, I was like, "Shit! All right, let's meet up." So I drove all the way back out to uh, his town. I met up at a DMV like 20 minutes away from him and what we wound up doing is he filed for a new title I paid for it and uh, we registered the vehicle under me so he still technically owns a vehicle but it's registered under me I know this sounds god awfully jank but I, I'm 99% sure this is actually going to work I've, I've checked like through the DMV website and it's good so the title took literally two months, no, four months, April, May, June, it took two months, it's supposed to take not even a month, it took two months to get a title for this piece of shit car, and I had to pay like $230 to put this thing on the road and get a new title, which is what he should have done to legally sell it to me, but like I said, I, I'm lucky enough that I found a Craigslist guy to fucking actually go to the DMV with me, get a new title, like, after all this happened, it's all my fault, too. He just didn't want to, he never put it on the road, so he didn't want to pay for it, and then he thought, we thought the title would just pass over. So, so, title comes in, and I've been texting the guy, I'm like, dude, that title's got to be coming in, like, it should have been here, like, a month ago, and then he, he finally texts me out of the blue, and that day, the day that he texts me that he's got the title... I was like losing hope. I'm like, I'm fucked. This thing, I'm not getting the title. I'm gonna have to sell it, scrap it, do something. I'm gonna be so pissed. I was thinking about like buying a javelin, put the motor of this in there or something. I'm like, oh, I'm screwed. So, I wind up, or that day, he texts me. I got the title. And I like shit my pants. And at the moment, I was, me and my buddy were actually waxing this thing, buffing it out. We were getting really, really shiny, and, you know, clean up that paint the best we could, it seemed beautiful, it was running so good, oh, so happy, I was just so, like, and he texted me, I got the title, I was so happy, I was like, damn, something finally paid off, so, that day, he's like, I was like, well, I can't come pick up the title today, I'm going, actually going to the car show with the car right now, I, like, I had this plan for a while, I was like, can I come pick it up, like, when I get out of work in a few days or something like that, I'll drive all the way out there. And he's like, well, let's get it done now. Can I come meet you out there? And I was like, fuck yeah. And at the time, I was 20 minutes away from the town he wanted to meet up at because I was at the car show. So we met up, and he's like, I want some, uh, I want some, I want some compensation on my end. I was like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? I literally had to pay 230 bucks to put this thing on the road because you didn't get a new title for it. I was pissed. But I was like, fuck, gotta come back. I'm like, I'm in the shit spot here. He's the one with the title for the car that I'm driving. This legally could go bad, A. And he also could just dick me over, like, just cause he, just cause he wants money. So I was like, fuck, he's like 60 bucks and you can have the title. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. This is like $300 and I still don't even own the vehicle. Like, I was just getting pissed, but I'm like, I'm in the shit spot, so there's nothing I can do. So I wind up, I go to the fucking bank, I take out 40 bucks, I'm like, I'm, at least I'm gonna jip him 20 bucks, he ain't get 60 for this fucking thing. So I was 
So I go all the way out there, meet up with him. And he's just like a really chill guy though. That's why I also kind of like respect him. He's just trying to make money. Because, you know, that's, that's half of America for you. But I'm just thankful enough that he he wound up helping me with it and everything. So. with this car. 
about this. I'm gonna leave you off with some uh, pretty mint burnouts. <laughs> nice one wheel peelers for you. What I did the other day. Um, nothing more American than this thing doing a burnout, honestly. But I'll leave you guys off with that. And I hope you enjoy. Right now I just got back home after going my adventure to the gas station. And I plan on bringing you guys some more content on how the car's going and what's up. Definitely some future content, maybe fixing up my Honda actually. Uh, I'm either going to sell it or just fix it up and clean it up a little more. That's need some work. Um, I do plan on getting on back into like the tech aspect of my channel because I haven't done that in a while. And there's some videos I had lined up I want to do. I just kind of going through like a, a personal crisis right now so I got to get that finished through first. But then I'll see you guys soon.